WWE uses Cody Rhodes against AEW. A WWE talent arrested. Some really sad news for a WWE star and more. I'm Ollie Davis and this is the Wrestle Talk News. Support Wrestle Talk. Since WWE found the Forbidden Door in the back of the Performance Center several weeks ago, NXT has become one of wrestling's most unique, entertaining TV shows. We've had TNA Knockouts champion Jordan Grace fight for the NXT Women's title. Former AEW star Ethan Page made his shock debut. And Shawn Michaels has been twerking. He's just a twerky boy, twerky boy. He's not your bum toy, bum toy. And now, on the Tuesday 11th of June episode of NXT, WWE Champion Cody Rhodes made a special appearance to announce the brand's next big direction. He's going to the cookout, everyone. But also, he gave JC Jane his old undashing mask. But also, he announced that next week's episode will have a 25-man battle royale to determine the number one contender at Heatwave for Trick Williams' NXT Championship, teasing some of the entrants will come from different locker rooms. Meaning it could be anyone from NXT itself, SmackDown, Raw, TNA. The crowd started cheering for Joe Hendry, yet people were saying his name and he did not appear. But also, Soft Crown Wrestling Uganda, I guess, because Cody has tweeted he's going to buy them a wrestling ring. Time to rebrand as Bouncy Canvas Wrestling Uganda. But also, Cody did this. He shared a segment with former AEW stars Ethan Page, Sean Spears, and Lexis King, the former Brian Pillman Jr., who have all made the jump to NXT within the last year, and said, seems like you guys are in a good place. A not so subtle dig at Cody's former promotion, AEW, which the three men reportedly left due to creative frustration. They have since received far more consistent screen time debuting in NXT. Why can't all wrestling promotions just get along like the good old days of the Attitude Era? I know, I'll ask Luke on the wrestling ring. I mean, really, when you think about it, it's comparatively tame to the wrestling wars we've seen in the past. And Cody was taking shots at WWE while he was in AEW with things like the throne smashing. So it's actually, this is quite nice and, you know, lighthearted fun, really. I mean, the real war is the one that's going on behind the scenes, all the business undermining and the counter-programming. Golf Luke, it's dangerous tribalism! Cody versus AEW, though, goes far beyond a fun backstage segment of the WWE Champion telling a bunch of All Elite guys that they're now better off in NXT. The biggest story it's obscuring is how WWE are trying to damage AEW viewership rankings, while AEW is negotiating the most important TV deal in its history. Thanks to NXT's growing popularity, there were only 22,000 total viewers between last Tuesday's episode and the Wednesday 5th Dynamite number. The all-important 18-49 demographic, however, was further apart at a .22 versus AEW's .28. But tonight's Wednesday 12th Dynamite will face significant competition from Game 3 of the NBA Finals, likely meaning their rating will take a big hit. So NXT loaded up their Tuesday 11th episode with WWE's biggest star, Rhodes, to do everything they can to beat AEW. Twerky boy. And while Dynamite's card has Mercedes Monet in action and a mouth-watering match between Will Ospreay and Ray Phoenix, the advertised lineup arguably doesn't have a big enough hook to pull viewers away from the NBA. One of the biggest draws for NXT, for comparison, hasn't even been a wrestler. It's been rapper Sexy Red, whose cameos on the show are speculated to have brought in a younger new audience. And she could potentially be planning on making her in-ring debut soon, as at the weekend, she was preparing by getting involved in a massive brawl at an airport. TMZ is reporting that on Saturday the 8th, the day before she hosted the NXT PLE Battleground, Red was arrested after an altercation that involved multiple people at Newark Liberty International Airport. Security footage shows several people brawling by a doorway for a person in a red hat to enter the frame, which TMZ claims is Sexy Red, who's about to use one of those Q-divider stands as a foreign object bar guard before she's pushed away, falls over, and seemingly loses a shoe. The rumor is that the fight started 
alerted when someone took an unauthorized photo of Red, but that's not confirmed. What is confirmed, though, is TMZ reporting Sexy being ultimately arrested for disorderly conduct, while a couple of others were booked on assault charges. The alleged victims went to hospital for minor injuries. On getting out of jail, Red posted on social media asking the people that were in the altercation to DM her so she can replace their phones. Fightful is reporting that WWE does not expect this arrest to prevent them from using her in the future, and as of Sunday night, there were more plans for her to appear on the brand. Although they were surprised by the arrest news, as they didn't know about it ahead of the Battleground show she was hosting. In even more NXT news, seriously, I don't think I've ever had this much different NXT news in an episode, Fightful again is reporting that the TNA working relationship is set to continue, with the next names to cross over, interestingly, being ones that have been released from WWE. One is Mustafa Ali, who was released last September, even though Shawn Michaels had plans for him to win NXT's North American title. He is currently TNA's X Division champion, but is not signed to a contract with TNA. Another name mentioned was Zachary Wentz, who wrestled as Nash Carter in NXT, but he was released in April 2022 while being NXT Tag Team Champion, following allegations from his ex-wife Kimberly and a leaked picture of him imitating Adolf Hitler. Fightful notes NXT's stance has softened on Wentz, and there's a good chance he could cross over if the right creative came up. The final name is Moose, who WWE have been long interested in. Moose himself has said he wants to be part of the crossover. But it wasn't just TNA and ex-AEW wrestlers at NXT, a current AEW wrestler was there too. Fightful is reporting AEW's Rebel was backstage at the show because of a personal connection to someone who works at NXT. Rebel hasn't appeared on AEW TV since 2022. And there was another angle for Brooks Jensen, who interrupted the taping during the commercial break. Like last week, he started to shout at commentators Booker T and Vic Joseph from ringside before being removed by security. This time, though, you could just make him out on the TV episode. Wrestling often presents invasion angles by constantly replaying footage of the invading wrestler or wrestlers, which isn't really what a company that's being legitimately threatened would do. So I applaud NXT for booking this angle so realistically. Jensen was also spotted at an indie show over the weekend at his real-life dad, Bull Buchanan's bullpen professional wrestling promotion. But it's not just NXT that's having all the Forbidden Door fun. The main roster has got in on the crossovers too, as at the conclusion of Marigold's Corican Hall show on the 11th of June, EO Sky appeared via video form to challenge... Now, SB3 has texted me phonetically how to say this. Yutami Hiyashita! For their Summer Destiny show on the 13th of July. Marigold is the new all-women's promotion from stardom founder Rossi Agawa, who was fired by Bushi Road in February after allegations he was poaching talent to start a new promotion. It was also reported he was blocking parts of the AEW stardom working relationship, and he recently credited Triple H for giving him the confidence to break away. And according to Agawa talking to Tokyo Sports, his relationship with Levesque goes even further. Agawa had been in talks with WWE back in March for Sky to wrestle on a Marigold show, which sped up when he visited the US on WrestleMania weekend. He speculated the reason they let him book Sky was likely because they wanted to sign Julia, who he is very close to. This Saturday, we'll see Clash at the Castle take place in Glasgow, which will have the Scots of Drew McIntyre fighting for the World Heavyweight Championship and the unholy union of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn challenging for the women's tag belts even though they lost in two minutes on the go-home Raw. The experience will be bittersweet for Fire, though, as, tragically, the Daily Record is reporting her mother was killed while visiting her on holiday in Florida. 51-year-old Brigine Mitchell was hit by a car when crossing the street in Orlando on the 17th of May and pronounced dead at the scene. The local police say the driver cooperated at the scene and no charges are expected. Alba, real name Kylie Ray, was quoted saying, Words cannot describe how devastated we all are. She was the most caring, fun-loving person, the life of every party, and the biggest we legend we all knew. She was greatly loved and will be deeply missed. A GoFundMe has been set up to support the family, which you can donate to using the link in the video description below. There's no easy way to transition from that into our end card plug, so here goes. You can watch our list of the worst pay-per-view from every year of the 2010s by clicking the video on the left.